Hello everyone. I am really excited to do this one. This has been a long time coming and my friend and I finally sat down and said we have got to do this. And it's the child, Baby Yoda. Of course, if you've been keeping up with the Mandalorian, he actually has a name. So we've already painted her nails with Kiss of Death and Utter Perfection. And here we go. Now, I will link in at the top the video talking about the plate that I used. I got it or purchased it from Lantern and Wren. But more details there because I don't remember all of them off the top of my head at this moment. So, I have encapsulated all her nails. I went through with my Wildflowers 180 and lightly shaped and buffed up her nails so that they are all in the proper looking. These are all the colors that we're going to be doing to use for this stamping set and I can't wait now we may not use all of them but we've got to get set up so I've got my cubed my um, LX or sorry XL um, biggie stamper my medium and small sizes of my double stamper my card I do have an eyeshadow applicator and off to the side I have my wildflowers acetone and Light Elegance Cleanser. This is the Clear Jelly Stamper um, sticky pad for cleaning off your stamps. I am using a, another palette from the same collection I purchased um, from Lantern and Wren just to use the swirls off of it. Kind of give the nail, one of the nails that I'm not going to be doing a lot of uh, just some, some cuteness. I love the swirls on this. It's really, really neat. And it kind of makes the nails that are not going to get the child um, whimsical, which when you're a child, you want things kind of whimsical. All right, now that we're focused in and a little bit closer so you can see, you can see how that looks. I am going to use the eyeshadow applicator to clean up around the nail with just a little bit of acetone. You can also wait till the end, but just wanted to clean it up a little bit for y'all. Now on the nails that I'm doing the Baby Yoda and other items from the palette, I may not, I, I like to have almost a little bit of burnish to the polish ahead of time so, so you'll notice the polish is missing here and there on some of the corners or the edges don't worry about that now those are the colors that I'm using and as you can see I swiped a couple times because I wanted to make sure that I was able to get the paint over the entire piece um, I was looking for cobblestones and noticed or realized I don't have any. So we're using this palette. It's a palette that I got off of um, Amazon. I don't even, couldn't even find the link. But I used the dots on it to create on um, both sets of nails. We did a test swiping. You can see that on my thumb. And so we're moving ahead. Now this is the Clear Jelly Stamper Black and I picked it up. I did not, I made sure I didn't over flood the stamp because I really wanted a really really fine outline and you'll see why. Looks great. Love how it laid down. I did clean up around the nail because the ear overlapped and now we're going to go in and I am going to I don't know why I just showed you the black again. Oh, because I didn't show you before, sorry. And these are the colors, 89. And that went so fast I didn't see the other one, sorry. But we're just gonna keep going here. Um, they're 
two very beautiful greens and we sat down went through all of my greens and these were the ones that matched baby Yoda um, as you can see I have the animatronic in the box so we matched it up to the animatronic to make sure of the colors now I'm using the shorty shorty no the swirly brush my apologies to fill in the baby Yoda's face and hands ears and of course while I'm doing this our lawn guys have showed up so sorry if you hear the mowers outside um, I'm trying to fill this in efficiently uh, so that it kind of smooths its own self out while it's drying um, I'm using the darker color for inside the ears for any shadowed areas like where his hands are around the cup and then I'm going to use a beautiful tan color um, it's a light tan for the cloak actually it's called vintage linen so it's a beautiful color it's perfect for this and as you can see the skin smoothed itself out beautifully as it dried and the vintage linen is perfect for creating his cloak as I fill it in I'm gonna let you just go ahead and watch Well, I was hoping by now the lawn guys had gone by, but they're still out there, so I apologize if that gets too noisy. I've used the black again from Clear Jelly Stamper, which is number one, to set up for the next Baby Yoda, which I am doing on her thumb. You'll hear me go back and forth to Baby Yoda and the child. It's both. Everybody knows that. So, here we go on the thumb. Now, yes, it's dark, but wait until you see after I've cleaned and um, colored by numbered it, I guess you could say. I'm going to be using the same colors that I used a moment ago, um, which is the eight, uh, 98, I think it is. or Yeah, I believe it's 98, which is the light color. And this one, you can see how much easier it is that as this dries it does smooth itself out I did not go back and make it a second coat on the other one I just let it go on its own and it just kind of leveled itself out now clear jelly stamper does not state that their products do this it's just the way I applied this as it slowly uh, dried it even it evened itself out which made it perfect As you can see, I'm actually fully covering up the face. Ashley and I talk and laugh a lot, and it's really great. But because of that, I actually wiped over the mouth, so I figured, ah, oh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and cover it all off. I apologize. I did get out of screenshot, but I did not want to cut that off anyway. So I'm going in with the second color and going to fill in the ears. I already did the hands on this one, so the ears is the only thing that I, I need to do for depth on both sides. Now this one, because I squished everything together for it to cover the features, I did need to add a little bit more of the green, the light green to the face just to even that out before I did the other ear. And now we're off back to the other one. As I clean my palette, I need to let that dry so I don't do any smudging. And while those both dry, I am going to use these very same colors except ah 89 I'm sorry 98 and 93 there we go 
um, I'm going to actually swirl them together. What that does, and I'm act I swir swirled them with number 11, which is green. They're, they're, they're uh, not the darkest, but they're almost darkest green. And then I filled in. And again, yes, we got to talking and I didn't notice I was off camera. In a moment, I'll get back in camera. I promise. Here we go. Okay. So this is exactly what I did to the other nail. And all I did was kind of like in a marbleizing technique, just kind of lightly floated those on onto the nail. And now I'm going to let them dry. This is the vintage linen. And I'll be back because the lawn guys are getting too close. Okay, I know for you I didn't go anywhere, but I had to turn off the um, voiceover because they were right outside my window. So I'm just going to continue to follow the outline of the stencil. But what I'm also going to do is use my background color as the dimension in his cloak. So you're going to see that I'm not actually completely covering this in because doing it this way gives the cloak all of its wrinkles and dimension, which is what happens when uh, you move. So, and I didn't have to add extra. Now we are going for the funniest part of this palette. And that is I am putting, using the number one and doing the frog. Okay, now I have to share, we laugh so hard on this because this, frog reminds us of the frog from Bugs Bunny and you have to look it up I'm not gonna the you know explain it to you fully but it's the Bugs Bunny hello my baby frog that um, from Bugs Bunny and we just laughed our heads off so back to I'm redoing the stencil for this Yoda uh, the child, Baby Yoda, so that all of our details are back in there again. And now we're going to top coat some with the Super Shiny, the nails that received the, um, oh, went out of my head, Kiss of Death, jeez. The Kiss of Death Dark Blue, we're going to get Super Shiny. And we're contemplating on doing matte on the others. And I think what we actually decided on was super shiny on all of them because she really prefers the shiny. Normally I would have done the uh, matte on those. But next will be the finished images. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to ring that click that bell so that you see future videos. Thank you again.